Hey everyone, so today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up DSD using FUBAR 2000. So let's get right into it. I'm going to be using the iFi Neo iDSD as my DAC. So you can follow along if you have an iFi device, you can pretty much follow the guide. But if you don't, it'll be very similar. All you have to do is go to your manufacturer and download the USB driver for your device. So if you own a iFi product, most likely it does support DSD audio. So what you're going to want to do first before you even plug in your device, you're going to want to go to support and then go to software slash firmware downloads. And then you're going to want to select the product. So mine is the iFi Neo iDSD right here. Okay. And here it asks you to enter your serial number for device so it can find the correct software and firmware for it. I'm going to go ahead and enter that now. So we're going to go ahead and scroll down and you want to download the latest windows USB driver. So we're going to go ahead and download that and save it to your computer. Once downloaded, you're going to want to go ahead and open it. And then you're going to want to hit extract all and then extract. Once the files are extracted, go ahead and go into the USB drivers folder. And then you're going to go ahead and run the setup file. So just go ahead and click next, accept the terms next, and this will set up the USB driver for your device. Okay, great. Once you've installed the driver, go ahead and click next and then finish. Now that we have the USB drivers installed on windows, we can go ahead and connect your device to your computer and it should automatically detect the device and install those drivers that we just set up. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and switch over to the full bar 2000 setup portion of this video. So go ahead and download the latest release. Don't download the beta. So I'm going to go ahead and download the current version right now, which is 1.6.4 and then go ahead and click on the link. This is latest stable version download. Go ahead and click save. Once downloaded, go ahead and open it. And then I'm going to walk you through installing FUBAR 2000, which is a free audio player that supports DSD audio. So go ahead and select standard installation. Click next, click next for the default destination folder and go ahead and click next for full installation. And go ahead and leave the check mark to run FUBAR 2000 after we're finished. Go ahead and click OK for the default appearance. And now we need to download a few plugins in order to get DSD working on FUBAR 2000 for our audio device. OK, and once we have FUBAR 2000 installed, we are going to have to go to another website to download the Super Audio CD decoder so that we can play DSD audio from our device. So here's the website sourceforge.net projects SACD decoder and go ahead and click on download. And after a few seconds, the download should begin and just click on save and go ahead and open the zip file. And now you're going to want to hit extract all go ahead and click extract. And there we go. We have this super ACD component as well as the DSD processor component. Now we're going to have to switch back to full bar 2000, go to file preferences, and then we're going to click install to install the two components. We just downloaded. Okay, great. So just select the two components and then click open. Go ahead and hit apply. And then this is going to restart FUBAR 2000 in order to get the components working. Great. So now we're back at FUBAR 2000. Let's verify that they got installed. Go to preferences. And you see here it has a super audio CD decoder as well as a DSD processor. Great. So now we're going to have to do a few more settings to get our audio device to output to DSD. Go ahead and go to tools, DSD processor, and click on use DSD processor. Click apply. Now head over to SACD. Change the output mode from PCM over to DSD and under DSD processor, go ahead and select DSD processor and hit apply. So you are going to have to install one last component. And to do that, we're going to go to get more components here and you're going to want to scroll down and find the ASIO support component. Go ahead and click on that and then click download. Okay. And then you can just go ahead and click open file and it's going to go ahead and install this component onto full bar 2000. So click yes, and then hit apply and hit okay to restart full bar 2000 so that it could take effect. Now we're going to go to file preferences again. And under output, we're going to go ahead and select for the device ASIO IFI HD USB audio and hit apply and then click okay. Now we're going to go ahead and add a couple of DSD albums that I have. So go ahead and click file add folder I'm going to select my two DSD albums. And you see that they're here now. I'm going to go ahead and play it now. And now I'm going to go ahead and play one of my DSD files to make sure it works correctly. And sure enough, here we see that it is playing DSD 64 at 5,645 kilobits per second. Here we see the Hertz and it is playing in stereo mode. So it's working. There you go. I just showed you guys how to set up FUBAR 2000 to play your DSD audio. 